Welcome back. In this video, we're going to start by creating a very simple house. So to do this, um, we're going to draw. We're going to start with a box again, but this time I want to have it centered. So um, I'm going to change the color back to black. You can do whatever colors you want, and um, I am going to uh, center it. So this time we are going to say Y equals zero. So we get a horizontal line. And uh, we are going to put our constraints at uh, minus five in the X and five. So this time it's going to be centered. So you can see we, this line comes from negative five to positive five. I am going to copy and paste that and we're going to move it up um, let's say to about seven this time let's see how that looks so this time we're going to go for our sides we will go um, x equals negative five to start with because that will be the side wall on the left hand side that goes um, where x equals negative five we are going to put constraints from zero and so y has to be greater than zero and it has to be less than seven because that's the top of our box now we will copy and paste this and this time we will move our x over to a positive five to make the right wall so that's a good start and let's go ahead and um, fill this in. So we will do negative 5 is less than x which is uh, less than 5 and we're going to constrain y between 0 and 7. I'm going to keep with a black mesh this time and there we go we have some siding. I'm going to change the order on that so it tucks in behind. Now, of course, one of the um, next things here is going to be to uh, draw our roof on here. So we'll do a simple pitched roof. This is the first time that we have done uh, slopes in this program. You may have done them in your math before. No, don't know. But uh, if it's new to you, um, it starts quite simple. So we're going to start with the very simplest one, which is y equals x. On y equals x, our x and our y values are always going to be the same. So if I click OK, we have this slope where when x equals 1, y equals 1. When x equals 2, y equals 2. See, as it goes up and sideways at exactly the same rate. This isn't working very well for a roof, so what we're going to do is we need to move this up so that it's sitting on top. So a logical thing to think probably at first would be that if we add 7, it'll move this up 7. So let's see what happens. If we just put x plus 7, great start, it moved this up, but it only came to the center line here. And if we look across here, we can see that it's hitting the outside wall at 2. And it needs to go all the way up to 7, so we actually need to add 5 more to that. And I'll show you some simpler ways to do the math on this, but I'm just showing you how you can use trial and error. So if we went 5 more than this, we would be going up to 12. And so 12 is where it crosses the center line. This is called our y-intercept. Okay, and so we have x plus 12. So we've moved it up 12, and now we have our roof line going through. Obviously, we want to constrain this a bit. So, um, we probably want a little bit of an eave, maybe out to negative six, something like that. So, negative six, and this will constrain in the x. So, x is between negative six and zero, which will be the center of the house. Let's see how that works. And there we have half of a pitched roof we can copy and paste and to make our slope go the other direction because now we want it um, going this way 
all we have to do is put a negative in front of the x and that changes our slope to going the opposite direction. I'm going to take these constraints out for now so we can see what happens. There we go. Um, that's the slope we want. Now we need some constraints. So we will go um, x has to be between 0 and this time we'll go positive 6. And we got a good start on our roof there. Looks great, but we might want this gable end to be filled in. So for that, let's create a new relation. And now we got to start combining our different equations. I'm going to change the color here just so we can see. Maybe we'll do a blue just so we can see the difference. Now you can see that I want it. I want to shade the area below the left hand side of the roof. And the left hand side of the roof um, was y equals x plus 12. But I want to go, so I'm not equaling it because that's what the line is, but I want to go less than that. So it's filling in the area below that. So let's see what this looks like. Good start. So it's filling in the area that is less or lower than the left hand side of the roof. Obviously this causes a problem on the right hand side where it's still extending up farther. So um, we can do that simply by saying and y also has to be less than the equation for the other side of the roof which is negative x plus 12. And that's looking way better. Getting close. So it's constraining below the two roof lines but we also need to keep it above our wall line. So a couple ways to do that. We could put it in the constraints or just to show you how we can keep extending these. We will say and y must be greater than 7. So that means it has to be above the wall. So we do that and look at that. We have a little house going there. We can change colors however we want. We can change um, the type of, of um, siding we have, so to speak. We could come back here and do the same thing here if we wanted um, you know, siding going the other way. We could do uh, windows and doors quite simply. Let's throw in a couple of those really quick. We'll use these same properties. I probably won't bother with the lines, but we could... Um, just fill these in solid and let's make a door uh, let's make it somewhere over in this area so we could do that quite simply by saying uh, we'll start at negative 4 um, is less than x which is less than negative 2 and um, 0 is less than y, which is less than, uh, let's see how 5 looks. And we have a door. So we've just filled in a door there. We could add a window on the other side. So for this one, we could draw one in, maybe let's say between... Uh, 1 and 4 on this side. So we could say 1 is less than x, which is less than 4. And let's put the bottom up maybe about 2. So 2 is less than y, which is less than 5. Just guessing here what might look good. There we go. We could maybe change that to a different color so it was uh, reflecting some light do a gray and there we go I think this um, gable end would look better if it was below the lines um, so anyways you can rearrange you can start experimenting uh, change the shapes change the pitch of the roof and have some fun with it add more windows doors uh, explore with this and we will see you in the next lesson